in this video we're going to cover unit 6 conversion of length measurement now this is something that we're going to do throughout the entire rest of this book we'll be using this skill of converting measurements from decimals to fractions fractions to decimals from feet to inches from inches to feet and to fractions so this is something that we need to know how to do really well which is why they bring it to us here towards the front of our study in unit six so let's dig into this and we're going to get lots of practice on how to convert measurements all right to start off this unit they painfully remind us of the fact that in the united states we're still on this old english system of measurements in contrast to the simplicity of the metric system we're stuck in this yeah old system i googled this why why is that the case and found on britannica.com a little bit of an explanation here why doesn't the United States use the metric system? Congress has the power to fix standard weights and measurements in the United States. And this has come up numerous times to Congress. Hey, why don't we switch over? But the history here goes quite a ways back to the Industrial Revolution. This was back in the 1800s, maybe early 1900s, where factories were created to mass produce things for all of society, right? And at those times, all of our measurements were established in major manufacturing facilities using this old English standard of measurements. So if we were to change over from that to the metric system, it would require that all of these manufacturing facilities also transfer over to the different system. And every time that it has come up to Congress for consideration, hey, will, will you please switch us over to the metric system? Then it's these big businesses and United States citizens who don't want to go through the time-consuming and expensive hassle of changing the entire country's infrastructure over to the metric system. So here we are. We're stuck. <laughs> Until we decide to do it. In some future date, maybe. But for that reason... It's important that you as a tradesman know how to get around in the measurements, know how to convert them from one to the other, as odd as they are in the way that they connect. It's important that we understand that. So let's put away our metric envy and let's look at how do we deal in feet and inches. All right, so the book brings this uh, simple equation to our attention, pointing out that the NI here is number of inches. If we're trying to figure out how many inches are in a foot, and we say the number of inches equals 12 times the number of feet. And they make the point, it's not just 12 times feet, but like how many feet are we dealing with times that number by 12 and we'll get the number of inches. All right, so this is really basic, but here they have a, a question for us. How many inches are there in seven feet? We're going to plug that into the equation. Let's have a look. So we have the number of inches equals 12 times the number of feet, which is seven feet. Therefore, the number of inches equals 84. All right, let's see if we can do an example here. They give us a measurement of 2.375 inches. Now, I don't know about you, but if I were trying to see where that is on my measuring tape, I might struggle a little bit because I don't really know where 0.375 is on my measuring tape. So, let's convert this over into fractions of an inch. The book is suggesting that we go to 1 16th of an inch and see what we've got, okay? So that's our goal. Let's convert. Now, as far as whole numbers, I know that I have two. So I'm just going to save that two down here, and we'll come back to it. But what I really need to figure out is this 0 0.375. 0 0.375, how am I going to get that over into fractions of an inch? Well, first of all, I need to make it a fraction. So I'm going to put it over one. Anything over one is the same, right? It's it is what it is. It's 0.375. So then I'm going to times that by 1. If I times anything by 1, it is still what it is. It's the same, right? And it won't change the actual amount. But what I'm going to do here is I'm going to times it by 1 in the form of 16 over 16. So if I take one whole pizza and I cut it into 16 pieces and I have all of those pizzas because you and I haven't eaten them yet then I still have one 
And that's exactly what we're looking at here. All the pieces are there. Now we're into fraction multiplication. And when we multiply fractions, you just take the numerator that's on top and multiply those straight across, and the denominator, denominator that's on bottom, and you multiply those straight across, and then we're going to get a number here. I'm going to pull out my calculator here, and I'm going to do 0 0.375 times 16. What do I get? Whoa, really? Look at that. It's an even 6. It's a 6. So, I get 6 over, then I go 1 times 16 on the denominator, that's 16. 6 sixteenths, which is a fraction. We did it. We have 2 and 6 sixteenths. But no one really says 6 sixteenths. You know, we, we need to simplify this fraction a little bit. And in order to simplify a fraction or reduce it, I just look at what number could I put into both of those or divide both of those evenly. And let's say I were to divide it by 1 over 1. It's the same thing, right? It doesn't change the number. But if I divide it by 2 over 2, well then I still have the same number, but it's going to look better. So here we go. It's going to end up being 3 eighths of an inch is what I have for my fraction. Now that's what I bring back over here with my 2. So it ends up being 2 and 3 eighths is my measurement in fractions when I started with 2.375. Let's do another problem. They give us 2.711 inches. And once again, they want us to convert that into sixteenths of an inch. So we're going to do the same process. Let's keep my 2 down here. We're, we know how many inches we have in whole inches, but let's take that 0.711. We'll put it over 1 and multiply it by 16 over 16 because that's the same as multiplying it by 1. We've established that. Let's grab the calculator here and we got 0 0.711 times 16 equals 11.376. So, 11.376 over sixteenths. Uh, that's still a decimal. That didn't really accomplish my goal because that's still ugly. But don't worry. At this point, we just give it up. We say, I am done with decimals, done with you, I am rounding you. Rounding you up or down. Now, do you remember rounding? When you round something that's a decimal, up or down, you say, okay, 0.5 is my middle mark, right? From one number to the other number. So if it's less than 0.5, I'm going to round down. If it's more than 0.5, I'm going to round up. So 11.376, uh, the decimal on that is less than 0.5. Let's just round it down. And so we're going to keep that as 11 sixteenths of an inch. I'm going to bring that over here. And I have 2 and 11 sixteenths of an inch. That's it. That is how we get from decimal to fraction on parts of an inch. All right, if you are still awake, then you are amazing because when I am writing out a problem on a screen like that, I just talk in a very monotone, boring tone that could probably put anyone to sleep. So good job if you're still awake at this point. If you did fall asleep, this is your wake up. It's time to get down and do some planks or some push-ups or sit-ups, do something. Get the blood flow going. We've got some more amazing math ahead, so don't let your brain shut off. Okay. Really quickly, let's go over some measurement relationships. There are 1,760 yards in a mile, 5,280 feet in a mile, 3 feet in a yard, 12 inches in a foot, 1,000 meters in a kilometer, 10 decimeters in a meter, 100 centimeters in a meter, 1,000 millimeters in a meter. Boom. To do your exercises today, you need to understand that there are four basic 
methods or standard methods for measuring. And let's look at them real quick here. We have number one, inches and fractions of an inch. Number two, inches and decimal parts of an inch. Number three, feet, inches, and fractional parts of an inch. And four, feet and decimal parts of a foot. Your exercises are going to have you converting numbers back and forth between these different types or standards of measurement. So let's do some sample problems that will help you to know how to do that. Sample problem one here. They give us fractional inches and they want us to convert, convert that to decimal inches. So that's 11 sixteenths of an inch, that's a fraction. We need to get that to a decimal. How do we do that? Well, this is another job for the calculator. We just simply divide 11 by 16. 11 divided by 16, and we get 0 0.6875 inches. That is our decimal parts of an inch. Sample problem number two. They want us to take 0 0.725 and convert that into fractions of an inch. We've been doing this. Let's just times this by 16 over 16. If I put that over 1, what is 0 0.725 times 16? Well, it is 11.6. 11.6 over 16. Now you remember when we have that decimal continuing on the numerator of the fraction, let's just round it. So what would this round to? Well, this is more than 0.5 on the decimal, it's 0.6. Let's round up. So that would equal 12 sixteenths. Well, 12 sixteenths is divisible by a number of things, but if we divide both of those by 4, then what we're going to end up with is 3 fourths. 3 fourths of an inch. That looks pretty good. All right, this time we've got for sample problem three, eight foot five inches, and they want us to convert this all into inches. Well, how do we do that? Let's see. Well, I know I have five inches, but what is about this eight feet? Let's work with that for a minute. Eight, if we've got eight feet, uh, we can times that by 12, and that should give us the number of feet. Eight times 12 equals 96. That's 96 inches. Let's put that together up here. 96 inches plus 5 inches equals 101 inches. That's our answer for sample problem 3. For sample problem number 4, we have 0 0.69 and that's feet and they want us to convert that into decimal inches. I don't need to worry about a fraction here. But this is pretty simply, if we've got that many feet, we're going to times it by 12 inches to a foot. We go 0 0.69 times 12 equals 8.28 .8 inches. That's what we have. Decimal inches, 8.28 .8 for sample problem number four. Sample problem number five, they give us 110 inches and they want us to convert that into feet and inches. The quickest way to find out how many feet are in a number of inches here is to divide that by 12. Let's see what happens there. If I go 110 divided by 12, I'm going to get 9.16. Now this 0.16 is just a remainder. I shouldn't worry too much about this. What, what I really found out that's important is that there's 9 feet. Now if I want to figure out how many inches are left, I can say, well, 9 feet. 9 times 12 is actually 108. So if I know I've got 9 feet down here and that equals 108 inches, sorry, that's a subtraction thing, then my remainder is 2 inches. So that 108 inches equates to my 9 feet, I'd have a remainder of 2 inches and that's how we come up with feet and inches when we just have inches. First, divide by 12, That'll give you your feet. Then figure out what your remainder is by subtracting the number of inches in those feet from your total, and you'll have your feet and inches. 
sample problem number six. They want us to convert 11 and a half inches into decimal feet. Well, it's not even a full decimal foot, so we're going to expect to see zero point something here. But let's convert this into a decimal to begin with. I don't need to work too hard to figure out that 1.5 is, you know, the same as 1 half. But if I didn't know what it was on the fraction, I can just divide, for example, 1 divided by 2. It's going to give me 0.5. Once I get it into a decimal form, then I will divide by 12. Let's see what that is. 11.5 divided by 12 equals 0 0.9. Five, eight. I'm going to drop the threes there. I'm sorry, I wrote, I wrote inches. I need to write feet there because we converted to feet, right? Inches is the quotation marks. Feet is a single apostrophe line there. Always remember that as you're going through these problems that you're marking your feet and in inches along the way so you don't get confused like I just did. So we, we had our inches, we converted to feet, and we want to make sure to keep those straight. That's sample problem number six. In sample problem number seven, we're going to take the number 1.78 feet, and we're going to convert that into something that we can use on our measuring tape. So that means we need to go to inches, and we'll, we'll head completely to inches, not feet and inches. So here's how we go. We're going to take 1.78 and we're going to multiply that by 12 inches to get that into inches. Here we go. 1.78 times 12 equals 21.36 inches. Great. But I still am not too comfortable with 0.36 inches on my measuring tape. So let's take that 0.36 and turn it into a fraction. I'm going to keep my 21 inches and let's take our 0.36 over 1. Let's see if we times it by 16 over 16 to get it into sixteenths of an inch. 0.36 times 16 equals 5.76 over 16 and this is inches. Once again, I'm going to just have to round this because we're tired of dealing with decimals in our fraction. So 0.76 is greater than 0.5, so let's round up. This would leave us with about 6 over 16 We dealt with that before. If we take 2 out of each of those, we're going to end up with 3 eighths. So the answer then is 21 and 3 eighths from 1.78 feet. Now that's something that I can measure on my measuring tape. Sample problem number eight is going to take us over into the metric system. We have 1.75 meters and they want us to convert that into centimeters. So there's 100 centimeters in a meter. We simply take our 1.75 times 100 and that's going to equal 175 centimeters. That's it, guys. It's that simple. And finally, we have sample problem number nine. This time we have 239 centimeters, and they want to convert that into meters. So what are we going to do? We'll just do the opposite of last time. We're going to take 239, divide that by 100, and it's going to give us 2.39 meters. And that's it for that one.